Welcome back to the show, everyone. I know I was sipping on this a little bit in the summer as a preview, and uh, I have been enjoying a little bit of it ever since. It's an incredible wine and a really cool project as well. Absolutely. It is the Director's Blend, and we are joined now by Andrea Vescovi. Uh, he is from Blue Water Cafe, the wine director there, and Sarah McCauley is the wine director at Chin Chin. How are you Hi both? Guys, how are you? Well. Fantastic. Uh, so who wants to tackle Director's Blend? Sarah, maybe we'll throw it over to you and tell us about this whole project. Um, this was a project that um, that we We've, um, was a collaboration with Laughing Stock Vineyards uh, on their Amata bench and sourcing fruit from uh, from there in the South Okanagan and Osoyoos as well. Um, you know, David came and did a, some blending seminars with Andrea Blue Water, and, and really they started to cultivate this idea that it might be fun to do sort of a joint project and uh, might get be fun involved. to make some wine. I so, say yes. Yeah, I was, I, as someone who's a professional, uh, you know, wine director and sommelier. Uh, how much fun was this for you, Andre, to go up there and, and really sort of get your hands dirty and get in there and play? Well, I, I think it's every Somalia's dream to become a winemaker at some point. It certainly was mine. And when we when we started, you know, crafting this wine with David, uh, and it's a cool way they do it too. When they do the seminars with staff, they'll actually bring their own components, uh, Cab, Merlot, and they actually blend it. And that's what we did. And that's where this idea actually started. And so many great wines coming out of the Naramata bench. What a great sure. place yeah. and a great opportunity with Laughing Stock. Yeah, it was a great opportunity. How much wine was drunk in yeah, the process? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So experimentation, <laughs> obviously, a huge part of this. Well, it's important to, to try to try all of the different I blends so that we too. put together. And and I think we were doing sort of 10 to 12 a day blends. So and of course components. A tasting is, is a big part of that as well. So yeah. Well, well we're going to taste some today. Mike uh, mentioned he's already tried it, but I haven't tried the director's blend. Let's start with the white. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about this. Um, so you know, something that was really integral to our um, to this project was uh, our first. Our first session up in the Okanagan, we actually drove up together, and uh, the, the four wine directors, uh, ourselves and Samantha Rand. So wait a second, you guys oh, no. road tripped up yeah. there? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Somebody so, should have filmed this. <laughs> and if I'm counting, Andrea, uh, how many guys were involved in this road trip? Two, yeah, we, <laughs> did, yeah. we got to know each other quite well. <laughs> But it was great. I mean, we really wanted to talk about, um, you know, what we wanted the wine to showcase, and certainly, you know, being, um, you know, a definitive uh, British Columbia wine, you know, we wanted Pinot Gris to be part of that blend. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Viognier, Pinot Blanc, and Sauvignon Blanc also do really great in the region, uh, and we were lucky enough to not have to go up and pick all of the fruit and and, and crush it and uh, put it in barrel. It was all ready and waiting to go ready for to us. Go. That would have been just, fair. We <laughs> just get out there. And we, I, we I, love, the easy part, so. I love the label, the non. -label label label you called it Andrea but it's That's got right, so yeah. much great information on it and so approachable how much thought went into that process I mean that with with our owner Jack he he basically wanted a, a certain label that really was the unlabel and that's what we kind of created. Just yeah. more information, uh, less kind of like flash, just, you know, get the information to the public. Well, and obviously you guys know so much about, uh, you know, the process of winemaking and, and British Columbia and Naramata and everything, but to, to get up there and be able to pass that along to customers when they come in and, and to clients and stuff, that has to really add to your knowledge and what you can really pass on. To it's pretty inspiring. I mean, we, you know, the end product was uh, pretty eye-opening for us. Said, wow, we actually made a pretty decent wine. <laughs> yeah. The white is unbelievable, yeah. uh, as is the red. But this is just yeah. this is a stunning. It's a beautifully approachable wine, but it also has mm, that complexity. Is. And yeah, those fresh, are hard things right. to get together sometimes, right? That complexity and that approachability. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I think that's where our training really comes into play. Um, for us, the balance of a wine is so important so the, you know you want it to be refreshing and crisp but still have great body and great flavors and mm -hmm. texture as well so and what should we pair that we've got uh, a couple of lappies here what are yeah, we pairing yeah. this one with so for the white wine we did a little scallop ceviche and certainly oh. this is a great wine for the food of our region um, we did this with a little citrus and certainly there's citrus notes in the wine um, and a little fresh herb as well um, so nice crisp refreshing wine mm. to go with a lighter style mm -hmm. well and style. and when people if they're not familiar with that uh, you know really solid idea of food pairing food and wine pairing. Uh, you know, you guys have a whole bunch of winemaker dinners that are coming up as oh, well. Oh yeah, we have to talk about the uh, winemaker dinners. A great opportunity. Dinners. Tell us about the winemaker dinners. Yeah, and um, we've got a few different winemakers uh, coming into town and some some um, principals from the wineries uh, at both Blue Water and Chin Chin. Uh, and, and this is a great way for people to be able to start to um, understand and be part of that sort of wine and food pairing process without having to go and do it all themselves. <laughs> right. um, <laughs> yeah. Which can always be a little tricky at, at retail. Um, so it 
allows us to show um, showcase some great wines with food in our region, mm -hmm. uh, and and really showcase that balance and harmony that's such it's so magical when 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 it's done right. Very now, nice. Now I think we need to try the red. Yes, I, I, just, uh, I think I that's an important feel... part of our scientific yeah. investigation. I think, and we're pairing this with what today. So that is a, uh, basically just some Italian prosciutto with yeah. some figs, which is always a, a great match, yeah. and a little crostini. So, yeah. and, and tell us about, about the red, red blend yeah. itself. So, so the red blend, we wanted to make a wine that is something that we like to drink, A, and B, we wanted to make something with intensity, uh, some great balance. It's predominantly Cabernet Sauvignon, a little bit of Merlot. And what are the two varietals, sir? Sarah and Capron. <laughs> <laughs> he was just testing. Can I, he was just can testing. I, can I tell you, it, 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 you mean you go through this process of, of, of creating all of these different blends, and, and it sort of ends up at the end of the day, there's 15 beakers, and you go, this one's the best one. All right, so, yeah. yeah so, and that's where you know, you know, that dialogue and conflict mm. comes into route. So we, uh, we had a few interesting moments. I was going to say, the debate must be an interesting part of it as well. And, well, and I, I got my the mostly of the cab up and <laughs> the Syrah yeah, up. So. Yeah. How much, I mean, when people, uh, you know, when they're watching stuff and they see us smelling the wine, how much does that first smell, that olfactory, how much does that tell you about what you're going to find in the glass after? It's about 75%. I mean, yeah. the, the nosing really? of a wine, yeah. absolutely, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, that's where you get up most of the, uh, you know, your brain starts thinking, wow, that's... Yeah. Your yeah, brain yeah. starts thinking more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and you really can you can smell the balance before yeah. you can taste it. I mean, you know whether a wine can cellar and, and how long it can sort of sit really when you smell sometimes. Yeah, I mean a lot of is that with the tannins as well. But uh, well, yeah. wine is like a, the 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 nose of a wine is like a first impression. I mean, it's what you're really first being introduced mm -hmm. to the wine as. So it, it is. I mean, it's a really it, you know it can be a really seductive thing, or, or <laughs> right. well, hopefully in this case, <laughs> yeah. or it's a <laughs> see you later or a hello. We want to tell you. As we mentioned, uh, Top Table has a bunch of winemakers dinners going on. Uh, October 11th is Vigna Urazer is from Chile. Uh, Whitehaven of New Zealand will be on October the 18th. And I don't know how to say the next one. How do you say it again? Druin? Jo uh, Joseph Druin with the Druin right. Estates. They have an estate in Oregon and, of course, in France. Yeah. And that's uh, October 19th. And you're doing both wines, right? One from Oregon or wines from We're Oregon? We're doing a bit of a comparison. And it's a really neat event. We have uh, Veronique Druin, uh, first time in the market. And she's like a rock star winemaker. Awesome. Of the world. Beautiful. Yeah. And the last one, October 24th, uh, Tenuta Sete Ponte. That's it. Yeah, Ponte. Ben. Pon Ponte Ponte. S Ponte. Sete Ponte. Potato Potato. Hello. Delicious <laughs> wines. Congratulations guys, to These you and everyone These are available at all the involved. restaurants, so if people want to go in and order exactly. and, and Absolutely. try it Absolutely. We, we're, we're selling them by the bottle and by the glass as well, so you can come and enjoy with friends or, or have a glass at the bar. Awesome. Thanks Beautiful. so much, Love both of you.